everyone. Hope you are doing well. Hope you had a blessed week. Um, I'm pretty excited, as I'm sure most of you are, that we are entering the time of um, anticipation, of excitement for what is coming. And we are, in children's ministry, going to be focusing on that um, throughout the month of December. Because what are we getting ready to celebrate? As you can see, my shirt says, Merry Christmas. Christmas is coming and it's such an exciting time of the year. And we are all looking forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ and the hope that we have because of his birth, his life, his death, his resurrection. So this week we'll be studying in focusing on um, the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 22 and 23. And we're going to be hearing about how the Virgin Mary uh, became pregnant with a child. And we're going to be talking about how we had the hope of knowing Jesus was coming because God gave that information to his prophets. And they foretold of it, or that means they spoke about it, they told us it was going to happen, and then... God kept his promise and it happened. So we are focusing on Jeremiah and how God used him to share that um, Jesus would be coming. And then we are looking at Matthew 1, 22 through 23. This week, we're going to talk about hope, the hope that we had, the hope that we have, the hope we can hold on to. Um, with the life and birth of Jesus, um, we have salvation and we have the ability to always know God keeps his promises. So through the prophets, he told of his promises and we learn in Matthew, he kept his promises. And we know that he kept his promise because we celebrate the birth of Jesus, his son, every year. So as you go through this next week, think about the promises that have been made to you or that you made to other people. Have you kept them? Have you not? And it's hard for us to keep promises. But the one thing that we know is that God will always keep his promises. And you can keep hoping in him and know that he will be true to hear you. And he is true to fulfill what he says he will fulfill or do what he says he will do. So hold on to the hope that we have in Jesus and his love for us. And don't ever forget how much he loves you. He loves you more than anybody in the whole wide world. And so talk to him. Hold on to the hope that he gives us through his son. I love you. I pray you enjoy the craft we're doing this week. Um, we are going to practice or we're going to start making an advent wreath to remind us of that hope. Use a paper plate. You're going to cut out the circle. Um, you can use green construction paper. As you can see, I'm in the process of cutting down the strips. We're going to be tomorrow making our first, this is cardstock, our first candle to put on our wreath which will symbolize the hope and we're going to just write the word hope on there and cut out a little yellow flame to attach so please join us in our craft enjoy our snack um your elf snack i'm sure you'll have fun with that and enjoy eating it but most of all enjoy the truth that we have in the love of jesus christ our lord and savior and the celebration of his birth love you guys Bye.